Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Rob Dollar back with another vid. Good morning. Before I get into this vid, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Say yo, dollars. We love what you're doing. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel that you guys subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both those links will be in the description as well as snups at dollars to God. You guys already know what it is, man. Huge Kobe fan, huge Lakers fan. My man went out with a bang, dropped the 60 last night. I was going bananas at the crib. Me and my son was watching it. Like, he, I don't think he ever seen no shit like that in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was bugging like, yo, like he was going bananas. So, man, but it was, uh, it was one of the biggest days in sports history. I would say this is second to... That the day I know I know I know a lot of people gonna get you know they probably say something but I think it was second and the only reason why I'm it's second I'm gonna tell you guys why but I think this day was second to the day that Pacquiao and Mayweather was gonna fight and not not that the fight was exciting but the fact I'm talking about before the fight like right before the fight started I know that was one of the biggest days in sports history and that's due to the fact that. In reality, none of us knew what the outcome was going to be. You know what I'm saying? We know how Mayweather fights, but we also know how Pacquiao fights. So that shit was one of the... And plus, I won so much money that day just gambling off that fight. But that, to me, that's still number one. And the reason being is because now my man Kobe's going out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a huge, huge Kobe fan. I don't rock his sneakers or nothing. But Kobe is one of those guys that even at the age of 37... You still will pay attention to him due to the fact that you don't know what he was going to do. You know what I'm saying? This nigga could come out and drop 60 at any given night. 70, 80. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what they expect with Kobe. So, and um, like I said, it's only the second biggest night of sports because my man Kobe's gone now. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is it's going to be boring watching my Lakers. I'm a Laker fan. And I, I can't see it being exciting without Kobe being there. I just can't picture it. Maybe it would be. But I just can't picture it being as exciting as when Kobe was there, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's the second biggest sports day. If 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 uh if Kobe wasn't retiring and he just went out just the end of uh season with 60 points, you know what I'm saying? People saying he washed up, he old, and he dropped 60. That that would give me something to look forward to next year, and that that I will be excited. Like yo, this was one of the biggest days because Kobe dropped 60, so he's gonna go bananas next year. But due to the fact that he's retiring. I'm a Lakers fan. It's gonna, it's it kind of hurt me. You feel me? So it's like Kobe dropped sixty in his in his career finale, his season finale, and um, it kind of fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a huge Kobe fan. So, but uh, comment down below. Let me know where do you rank last night as as um as far as sports history. Like where do you rank it at? Is it number one? Because a lot of people say, man, that could have been the biggest night in sports. Like I said, I still give it to Mayweather and Pacquiao the day that fight was like it was, you know, about to go down. Not the fight itself, because the fight itself was kind of it was a Mayweather fight. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was boxing. It was moving, you know, a lot of hugging. So y'all already know how that go. But I'm talking about prior to that, you know, getting to the point in which they were about to fight. That shit was like one of the biggest days in history because you didn't know what they expect with Mayweather and Pacquiao, like I said earlier. So, where do you rank the day in sports? Uh, yesterday in sports, um, as far as Kobe going out with a bang, Golden State Warriors breaking the 72 and 10 record. They went 73 and 9. Um, I'm surprised that they, you know, they kept, con they continued to go. I, I was like, yo, if I was dumb. I just get the number one seed throughout the playoffs and just say, fuck the 73 now, because I'm not going to jeopardize getting one of my players hurt. I want a chip, you feel me? But uh, they 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 went for it, and they they got it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Steph Curry broke the three-point record by what? How many he hit? He like, what, 117? He broke the record last year. Now he broke it again this year, hitting over 400 threes. Um, I mean, I think they broke mad records last night, Golden State. Not only the 73 and 9, but... They the team that hit the most threes in the season, over a thousand threes, and the Warriors are nice, man. The Warriors are nice, but I still think I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I just think Cleveland is taking it this year. I just don't know why. I just I feel like Cleveland. If they nobody gets hurt on Cleveland, I just got I don't know, man. I think Braun got something up his sleeves, man. I know the record and the way they played this season was kind of like. 
oh, these niggas ain't going to do shit. You know, they're going to get to the finals, get play against the Spurs, or go to the state, and they're going to get cooked. But I just got a funny feeling. I think this nigga LeBron is going to do something big. If they make it to the finals, and he, he like he said, he been having dreams about the Warriors beating them and shit like that. I just got a funny feeling LeBron has something up his sleeve. Like, he might average 50 that series. You know, I, I don't know, but I just got a feeling. I still think Cleveland is going to win the championship this year. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about that. I know a lot of y'all motherfuckers going to chew me up like, oh, this nigga bug Cleveland. I just got, I don't know, man. I don't know. He don't got that to me. Braun don't got that killer instant like Kobe and Joe and the AI. But I just, I think this year is going to be different. I Something is, something is, because he did go ham last year in the finals against Golden State. Like, I seen a whole different side of LeBron. But I think this year, if he make it to the finals against Golden State again, I think he's going to even go up a notch higher. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I, I got this feeling, man. Cleveland is going to win it. Healthy, Cleveland is going to win it, I believe. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below. Give me your opinion on that. Let me know. Was last night the biggest night in sports history? Let me know how you feel about me saying the day of the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. Not the fight itself, but the day of. How, 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 like, I think that was the biggest day in sports because that was Pacquiao versus Mayweather. And, like, to me, you didn't, you didn't know what to expect out of that fight. Although I gambled my ass off and won money, I was still kind of nervous. You know what I'm saying? So... I, I always rank that as number one, like number one, that like that shit was like mo one of the most exciting nights to me. One of the most exciting sports nights was Mayweather versus Pacquiao. You feel me? So I don't know, man. I'm just giving you guys my reaction to Kobe going out with a bang. I'm I'm kind of upset. Like I said, I'm a Lakers fan. It's going to hurt me to see him go. It's probably not going to be. It ain't going to be fun watching my Lakers, you know, but I got to live through it. I'm a Lakers fan, so. You know, you got to live with the good and the bad, just like with the sneaker shit. You know, I, I was hot at one time, and now I'm cold. I, I didn't get none of the Kobe, um, none of the Kobe uh, fade the black shits. I was trying to get all of them. I didn't get not one of them. Um, I fell with the 12s. Uh, so, you know, you got to take the good with the bad and everything in life. So, But uh, comment down below, man. Let me know how you feel about Kobe. Let me know how you feel about the Golden State Warriors. Let me know your predictions to win the championship. Like I said, I'm going with Cleveland. I don't know. I just got this feeling Braun is going to be special this, this year in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? And I think he's just going to wait to the finals to really, really cook it up. Like I said, if they healthy, I believe they're going to take it all. You know what I'm saying? Me and Foma was debating about that on um, um Twitter a couple of, uh like a month or two ago. So let me know. Give me your opinion. Give me your thoughts. About sports last night, how you feel? Does where does it rank at? Seventy three and nine. Kobe going out with a bang, dropping sixty. All the records that were broke last night. And uh, this is Rob Dollar, y'all. Getting out of here.